I'm out of member. <laughs> I'm Matt channel, welcome. Right, today I'm gonna to be talking about tools and how you may break them if you don't use them correctly. Kind of a follow-up video because I did a video recently where I was showing you how you can use tools, how they're not intended and you can get different results on, on metal, working in metal. Um, but this video, I wanna highlight how you can also break tools as well if you're not gonna use them correctly. <laughs> Here's a broken hammer I'm gonna be talking about. Uh, so I'll get into it when I said thank you to some new patrons. We've got Gemma Aston, David Turner, Petra Rushton, Holly Thiesman, Alex Weaver, Shoko Saito, and Patricia Norris. Thank you very much, guys. I'm asking for patrons for this channel, yeah, because they give me a bit of financial bit of financial help to keep this channel going because, you know, I've got replaced tools I keep breaking. Uh, things wear out, I need replacement. Um, just also enables me to keep the channel going and offer more of what's in my head because even after two years of making videos, still loads of stuff I haven't got round to yet. Uh, it's just time and actually the ability to actually sit down and make these videos. So with a bit of financial help, really genuinely does make a difference and enable me to do more. So I'm trying to share what I've learned over the previous 20 years or previous 25 years as a professional full-time jeweler. Well, I was a professional full-time jeweler for 23 years. I've been doing my own thing for the last two years, to be totally honest about it. Uh, so yeah, so I, wanna, I actually want to share. I want to get the information out there. So I need a bit of financial help. Eagle-eyed regular viewers may have just noticed that behind me may look a bit different because I, I did have some like foil stuck on the window just because I was just so in plain sight of all these lights on in the window. Neighbors are always coming out of the balconies looking at me. Uh, finally got around to buying some blinds. So I was putting these blinds up today. I've done them. They look good. They work very well. But uh, there's a look, like a little metal clip that clicked down and I had to unclick it so I could slide it across a little bit. So I just <laughs> reached down to my bench, picked up this pin hammer because that bit was going to be really useful and I just <laughs> hooked it on and it just completely snapped off. So it is quite upsetting when you've had a tool your entire career, like when it gets to decades. It's quite a shame to see it broken. I mean, I have no problems at all knocking that bit of wood out and putting that back on to shape it up, I'll probably do that. Um, but yeah, things break when you don't use them how they're intended. So this is obviously meant for tapping. If I start putting pressure on it that way, snap them very easily. So things like that can happen. I'll, I'll talk about stuff that's happened to me in my career with the, our hand tools that we use all the time. Okay, first of all, tweezers. They can snap. Like sometimes you want to open them up a little bit because you can stretch them out a little bit, but they don't take much to come apart. You can get unlucky with a, a badly made pair and uh, they can just snap apart. Um, I have been worked with someone who did actually get a snap there. I've never actually done that, but just using them, they, they wear out like these are shorter. These used to be like that look, and they just wear out when I'm holding things and soldering and stuff. So the tips burn, um, you can't really melt. You can't really solder platinum if it's close. If you're holding something in platinum, do a solder close to that, that just melts before the solder goes. So they get damaged quite easily. Yeah, but I have seen them snap before, trying to bend them about. All right, pliers, these are, exactly the kind of thing that you have for many years. You become very fond of them and you look after them and you shape the ends, especially how you like them. Uh, just one day they snap, they can break off. I've broke a few pair of these. These I've had, I think my entire career. These, they may have had, I may have had one pair before these, but I've certainly had these years and years, like between 15 and 20 years. Um, but yeah, you just obviously put a lot of pressure on them. I mean, you can just squeeze them in your hand. They bend so they get stressed there and obviously stress on these parts where you're squeezing things. So watch out for these. Cheap pairs will likely break more than more expensive ones just because of the grade of steel I imagine they're using. These are lasting quite well, but these were cheap ones. These had a, oh yeah, yeah that's right. I remember now, I recognize the handles, right? There's a pair of these snipe chain nose, what are they called? And then I had a pair of these the same, but the ones like this broke quite quickly and these are the replacement. They've lasted really well. But yeah, these were cheap, nasty ones. You can see I grind the ends down all the time just for certain specific jobs. Yeah, pliers will break. Um, tin snips don't really, I've never broken a pair, but they do go wobbly and then you can't ever really satis satisfactorily tighten them up. You have to sort of bang them with a hammer to get them closed up nicely. So yeah, watch out for that. All right, I don't use these so often anymore, but I used to use these a lot, like paper whizzer. You put a strip of paper in there, roll it up, and that goes in your pendant motor and then you can paper on the inside of rings and stuff. I don't really like them, I prefer the more solid cylindrical ones. That roundness is really a benefit. These ones tend to not be nicely round. Anyway, if you like using them, they can break. This one was quite a good quality one, but you get cheap ones. Uh, you can just be whizzing around and they seem to get stress fracture there and they break. Or they bend ever so slightly and then they got a vibration. That's uh, bad news as well. So they break. So that's kind of it. Just looking around at what's immediately around me. I mean, 
I won't bother talking things that are obvious like saw blades and thin drills and that because they break even when you're trying to be really careful with them. Um, just chunky metal things you'll never have a problem with. Uh, things will show signs of wear but stuff like that you'll never break that. Um, I mean unless you damage it you're not going to break that but you could accidentally put a scratch in it or something I don't know which will mark metal when you're using it. So you, even the solid heavy metal things you've got to be kind of careful with them and treat them how they're meant to be treated. But as for anything wood on a stick you can't start bending it about pliers they may go it's always a shame when you break something you've had for years but it does happen um yeah so no matter what you pay for your tools i recommend just being a bit careful with them look after them keep things oiled keep things sharp and flat and clean and stuff and uh problems are rare but they do happen